Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys all about mouse events in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Hey everyone, we're going to be discussing mouse events in Python. So before we begin, we'll need a window. So window equals tk followed by window.main loop. And in the last video, we learned that we can bind a widget or a window so that when a certain event occurs, we can call a function. So we're going to do the same thing for this video, but we have various mouse events that we can cover. So we're going to use the window.bind function. And this takes two arguments, an event as well as a function name. So let's define a function. Let's call it the do something function. So do something, and we'll need to define this. So at the top, def do something. And remember that we need to set up one parameter for this function. The parameter is an event. And then we'll just print something. Print you did a thing. OK, so there are various mouse events for a left button click within quotes and then within angle brackets a left button click is button dash one. So then if we were to click within this window, it's going to call our function, you did a thing. But if I were to right click, it doesn't do anything. So there are other mouse events too. So button two is that scroll wheel, not if you scroll up or down, but if you press in on it. So right now I'm clicking left, I'm clicking right. Now I'm going to press in on the mouse wheel and it says you did a thing. Button three is a right mouse click. So I'm clicking left, nothing, but I'm going to click right. And that seems to work. All right, so button one, I'm just going to add a note. Left mouse click. Button two is the scroll wheel. That's if you press in on it. And then button three is a right mouse click. So did you guys know we can actually get the X and Y coordinates of where this event occurred? So to do that, we type in the name of the event dot X. However, since we're displaying this along with some text, we'll need to convert this to a string. So string event dot X. Then I'll add the Y coordinates as well. Event dot Y. I think I'll just add a comma between these to separate them. And we'll change our text. So we'll say mouse coordinates. All right, let's try this again. So this is going to give us the coordinates of where we click. And right now I'm just left clicking. So the top left corner is zero, zero. Well, at least close to it, I'm not there exactly. All right, so here's a few other events that we can cover. I'm going to copy this. We have button release. If we were to release a button, it's going to trigger our event. So right now I'm holding in on the left mouse button, but I'm going to let go, then it triggers our event. If I were to right click and hold it, it doesn't do anything. But as soon as I let go, then our event is triggered. We also have enter. Not to be confused with the enter button. Just going to get rid of that. So that is enter. If we were to enter our binded window or widget. So if I were to enter, it's going to give the coordinates of where I entered this. There is also leave. So I'm going to say that enter the window. And leave is leave the window. So if I enter, nothing happens. But as soon as I leave, it gives the coordinates. And the last one is motion. As long as the cursor is in motion. So this one might be good for a game. So that is motion. Where the mouse moved. 
So it's consistently giving me the coordinates if I'm moving the mouse, but if I were stationary or stop moving, it stops. All right, so that's the basics of mouse events in Python. If you want a copy of all this code, I'll post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's the basics of mouse events in Python. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.